Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome back and welcome to my final gift guide of the season. I know it's coming way too late, but I wanted to get it up for you guys just in case you're still looking for some last minute ideas as well as because um, I know a lot of you guys watch my videos you know, from the year previous and still try to get new ideas and just kind of go back in my playlist. And so I have a lot of good ideas that I didn't want you to miss out on just in case if you're watching them now, you should still be able to get most of these items in time for Christmas. But if you're watching them, you know, next year or whenever that a lot of the smaller items like from small shops um, or personalized items, you will have enough time to gift with. Um, like, like I said, my name is Sarah and I make a ton of gift guides throughout the whole entire year. I have not only Christmas videos, but I have Easter and Valentine's Day, um, Halloween, birthdays, if you can think of a gift giving holiday, I probably have a gift guide video for you. I will make sure that I leave my playlist um, above so you can click on the card and um, it'll take you to all of my many, many previous years of many, many different gift guides um, to hopefully give you some good gift inspiration. Um, like I said, thank you so much for coming. I make lots of gift guides, but I also have a bunch of other lifestyle content, mommy, fashion, beauty, home decor, all of that type of stuff. So I'd love it if you stuck around and if you haven't followed me already don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I also have a TikTok but if you're trying to get in contact with me the best place to do so is on Instagram just send me a DM um, and follow me over there I love to interact with you guys on there and just become friends so I will have all that stuff linked down for you down below in the description box um, like I said this video is kind of a long time coming I had planned to have this video up so much earlier but so many of my husband's items did not come in time it took so long for get to, for them to come in I don't know what happened this year but the majority of the things did come in time but there were a number of these there are more personalized items or from small businesses or even some from just like local websites and stuff that just took so long we finally have everything in and i wanted to show you still because i really am excited for a lot of the things that i got in this year i'm also including his stocking i normally like to make those two separate videos but we don't have time for that so everything's going to be included in this video and i'm excited to share with you what i got him a lot of these ideas are a lot more practical this year he did not have a christmas list this year he did not make a board like he always does he was like i don't want anything don't worry about me just make sure you take care of the girls and give them a great christmas and just be the awesome amazing husband that he is but I still wanted to make sure that he had some goodies underneath the tree and make him feel loved and there's a lot of these things that are necessities that he really did need um, but there are also some fun items too so I of course will have everything linked down below for you um, for some shoppable links if you are interested let's just jump in and get started I'm gonna start with his regular stuff and then we will move on to the stocking at the end the first thing I got him and I normally get every single year is a new cologne I'm trying to be quiet because he's here he's home and he's working on his computer and my girls are in their room we're all on Christmas break and this is the only time I have left to film anyway so I got him some new cologne I get him new cologne every single year I actually took the saran wrap off because I, it normally comes in its wrap but I took it off because um, there's been times where they've leaked or like the sprayer doesn't work and I like to sort it out before giving it to him so he doesn't care about that I just will wrap it anyway anyway but normally yes it does have a plastic wrap but this is um, a favorite that I've gifted him for many many years and it is Burberry Brit this has all of the good memories he started wearing this when we first started dating um, he smells really good in like smoky spicy um, colognes especially like winter scents are like his it just smells so good with his skin chemistry this cologne is just one of my all-time faves on him it brings back so many memories this is a perfect winter cologne it is like a sexy sexy man you can like smell the cold but you can also smell like it's like warm cozy pea coats and leather jackets and Oh my gosh, it is the best. So if you're looking for a good cologne, this is something that you can find in Sephora, at Sephora. You can find it online at Amazon, Ulta, um, even some like local like Walmarts and um, like local real retailers. So if you're looking for a last minute gift, I highly, highly recommend this cologne. It is amazing. And speaking of Walmart and local retailers, after I purchased that, I actually had Dossier reach out to me and wanting to send me a couple new scents. I have 
shared with you guys dossier before i have purchased them from my them myself i love this company they're incredible um if you don't know what dossier is they are basically um dupes for high-end designer fragrances but you're not spending the really expensive high dollar amount and they have all different scents they have both men and women scents as long also as well as unisex fragrances and they're all some of the most really popular iconic designer fragrances but that are tend to be way astronomically expensive or hard to get your hands on now you can also get dossier at walmart stores which is awesome because now you can go pick it up at your local walmart and you don't have to wait for it to come in through the mail they have a bunch of different scents um, that you can choose from exclusively at walmart but you also can order on their regular website but i love the convenience of uh, being able to shop there and i was actually really excited when i saw when i was starting to gift um start going on my gift shopping that they had were showing that they were going to start selling at walmart's and then um they reached out to me and wanted to send these to me i mean, this isn't sponsored or paid they just decided to gift these to me um but i wanted to share with you the two ones that i got one i'm actually just going to give to my husband because it's going to be perfect for him but um I also have one that I know is a very popular uh, scent and is this one is an awesome dupe for it. The scent that I'm gifting my husband is Woody Tobacco and this is actually um, inspired by the Replica Jazz Club. I love Replica fa uh, fragrances. Their Beach Walk is one of my all time favorites and this is one that I've also really, really eyed buying but they're really expensive. But Replica is really cool because they um, have scents that are supposed to be like tied to memories and so it's not just like, oh, Gucci Bloom or you know, like vanilla or whatever they have their fragrances are made to encompass a whole experience and a memory um and so i've always been so intrigued by that brand i really enjoy their fragrances but they are expensive however when i saw this on the dossier website i was so excited and i ordered it now this is some a fragrance that i'm really familiar with because it's one that i constantly re-smell at uh, sephora because i always want to buy it because i think it smells so good but just haven't bit the bullet yet this one this is actually a unisex fragrance and it is just oh my gosh it's woodsy and spicy and exactly the perfect name is a jazz club it smells like you just like got all dolled up and you're going with a hot date or you're meeting someone there and you go into this beautiful jazz club where there's like smokiness around you drinks oh my gosh I don't know how to describe replica scents very well because they are so interesting and unique but if you've ever smelled them you know what i'm talking about this one is actually unisex fragrance like i said and i think it will smell incredible on my husband's um, skin with his chemistry um, this one the top notes are lemon pink pepper neroli middle notes are rum dry fruits blonde woods and the base notes are tobacco leaves vanilla and styrax i don't know if i'm saying that right but exactly all of those things you can smell the tobacco you can smell the rum you can smell the spiciness the sweetness of vanilla like all of those interact perfectly so if you are looking for good spicy sweet sexy winter scent this is your lady or your man give it to whoever wear it yourself i probably will sneak a couple sprays as well but just so i can give my husband some diversity and a couple of different scents to switch on his days this is also going underneath the tree for him as well all of their fragrances are under 50 dollars, which is awesome especially for this next one that i'm going to share with you because this one is something that is so incredibly expensive if you by the designer uh, brand but I know so many I see them on TikTok all the time people trying to dupe them um, and that is Baccarat Rouge 540 now if you've ever smelled the smell it is one of the most unique smells there are so many different levels to this like scent it is so sweet and gourmand but that's it it's not the only, it like takes you different layers. I don't know how to describe it. I think it's so hard to describe scents, but if you know what Baccarat, Baccarat Rouge 540 smells like, it is very unique, which is really hard to do, I feel like now, because there's so many perfumes that end up smelling so similar, and it's really hard to get a unique scent profile. And that's what I love about the fact that this is so sweet, which is what normally attracts me to perfumes, but it has this like cold scent to it. Like it's like, 
oh my gosh, I can't describe it. But if you are looking for an awesome dupe for Back Rack Rouge, I highly recommend this one. This one has incredible ratings and reviews on Dossier's website. This one is also one that is available in store at Walmart. Um, and they have now started selling at, at least 1400 locations and I'm sure they will expand more. Um, the top notes of this one is saffron, orange blossom, the middle notes are jasmine, plum, and cedarwood, and the base notes are oak moss, fir balsam, and amber. And you can absolutely smell that amber and like plum sweetness of it. It's so good, but then you get into that like cold, almost like sharpness to it with that the balsam and oak moss. I don't know guys, I don't know how to describe that scent, but it's so unique and it just smells so good. I'm telling you, if you're trying to find a good dupe, this is it. This is the Ambery Saffron um, Back Rack Rouge dupe at Dossier. I highly, highly recommend you go check them out, especially if you're looking for a last minute gift and don't know where to start. I feel like the look of these bottles are beautiful and clean and effortless looking. I love their whole mission statement and just being able to provide bougie alternatives or alternatives to the bougie high-end fragrances but still getting that scent profile that you really want um so i will have everything linked below like i said those were just sent to me they were not this isn't a sponsored video but i highly recommend dossier i like i said before have purchased from them myself many a times and i've worked with them and they're incredible people I highly recommend okay now moving on from the scent things um, every single year i also give my husband a couple of clothing items um he is not one to buy himself clothes i am normally one to do so he loves clothes but just never is just like nah i'll worry about it later so i like to normally get him a couple things during christmas this first thing i got him during um prime day and i got it for like it was on the most incredible sale it like had dropped down to like 12.99 during the prime day like lightning deal and then it had like a 20 percent coupon or 50 or 30 or something like that and then i had actually an amazon credit and i got this for free and it's normally normally like a i think a close to like a 50 dollar sweater or something it is beautiful this thing is super highly rated it is incredible quality it is this cable net like chunky sweater now button down sweater with this nice like little collar action um i buy these for my husband because he gets really really cold during the winter um and so when he's at work he can't wear his like big pea coat um in his office but he still likes to be nice and warm and so i thought this was perfect they had a ton of different colors so if like gray is not your thing then don't worry there's a ton for everyone i feel like this is such a beautiful sweater would be perfect for a dad for a spouse like i said a brother or a boyfriend or an uncle or just like the men in your life who just like like a good stylish sweater um my husband probably wouldn't have picked the deep gray but he has a very specific um like dress code colors at his job and so this will fit perfectly and i just think this is going to look so nice on him it is so cozy and soft it makes me think of just like mr rogers and it makes me so happy um, I love him in cardigans and sweaters. So I highly recommend that one. That one is beautiful. I also picked up um, every year I get him a pair of PJs. My mom likes to get him like the fun pattern actual pajama pants. And then lately for the past number of years, I've been getting him like sweats or active wear like joggers just so he can wear them to lounge and sleep in, but he also can wear them out. Uh, this year I got him a pair from Target from the Goodfellow brand. We really like that brand. Um, and I saw these during, I think Black Friday. Um, and they were on a good sale. Um, they're just basic sweatpants joggers with like a little button fly. The reason I got these was because I had no idea what the like gray sweatpants joke was. Um, he doesn't own gray sweatpants, but I had no idea like what that whole thing was. I'm incredibly naive. Um, and I like was like, what's the point? Like I don't get the joke. And then he had to explain it to me. And then I was like, oh. So I immediately bought him gray sweatpants because I thought it was hilarious. So um, these are going underneath the tree. They're really cozy and soft. I, I really like them. I actually want a pair. I think actually a lot of the reviews had, there was a bunch of women who had bought pairs because they liked them so much. Um, he also asked for this in, like, in passing, but he doesn't have any like active wear like sweatshirts or hoodies or zip ups. He only has like his big beautiful pea coat or his like big chunky sweaters that are like more like nicer cable knit sweaters he doesn't have like a hoodie i didn't i didn't realize that it was so true i was like i don't think you've had one since we've been together so um i found this one on amazon it had also really good reviews and i just really liked the thick um little 
hoodie straps, little strings. Um, it had a bunch of different colors, but I just got him the light gray. I actually thought I got these in light gray, so it was gonna match. It doesn't, but it's okay. But I got him this one. It's in small, a uh, small. I do feel like these run a little bit large. He is a tiny little guy, so I think that it's gonna be a little bit big on him, but that's okay because it's a hoodie. It's supposed to be, but I would just keep that in mind. If you decide to order it, I do feel like it runs a little bit on the larger side, um, but it's nice and it's like warm enough and cozy enough that it'll be keep warm, but it's not super, super heavy and like super thick fleecy where he can't wear it for multiple seasons. Um, so I do definitely like this and I think he is too I actually really kind of want one for myself now that I feel it. I like that like soft I don't know I don't know how to describe the, the way this feels on the outside but it's like really soft and like smooth and almost silky but not quite I don't know I really like it <laughs> um, and if you've watched me for the past number of years you will know that every single year I get him like a themed t-shirt so um, Ever since we've been together, actually, I've been doing this. When we first got together, I think I got him one that's still in the best condition of all the shirts I've ever got him was from um, Redbubble, I believe, and it was a Dexter-themed shirt. If you've ever seen this series, uh, TV show Dexter from Showtime, it's incredible. Anyway, we were both really into that, and so um, I got him a Dexter shirt. And... Um, Throughout the years, I've got him a Gordon Ramsay shirt because he loves Gordon Ramsay. I've got him Stranger Things. I've got him Game of Thrones. I've gotten him, I don't know, Top Gun. I've gotten him so many t-shirts. So this year's theme was Doom. He started replaying Doom Eternal and just loves it so much. He also has been like really into the soundtrack, which is like really intense if you've ever heard it. Um, anyway, but I found this uh, doom shirt off of etsy um from a small shop and um i'm excited for it i think it looks good i'm a, i'm i don't know how it's gonna hold up we will see about how screen printing goes i don't know if this little bloop over here was like an intentional thing but it's there um i still think that the actual image is like really really cool i just hope that it like um lasts and doesn't peel like some of the other ones in the past the shop had really good reviews um, so I'm, I'm hoping for the best, but you know, it's just a basic shirt. It's cozy. It's soft. I think it'll be nice, especially with his little gray sweatpants. So I'm excited for this one, um, but I'll just have to make sure that I am careful with the printing on it. Okay, to get two more of the like care items, I picked up these two things for him. Um, I saw on TikTok. I feel like most of the gifts I got him this year were inspired from TikTok. I saw this woman on TikTok talk about um a portable like or a uh, flosser a waterless water pick and um she was saying how it like changed the game for her teeth and he's been having some like gum issues um and so she said this and then she put i don't know, remember what she put into it i still have to actually get that now that i'm realizing it but she put something in it and with water and stuff and so many like uh, dental hygienists and people in the comments um, were talking about how like that's such a that's a really good idea. This is what we recommend, and all that type of stuff. And so I was like sold. Um, I think that video went viral too, so maybe you guys have seen it. But I found this one. I researched a lot of different ones um, on Amazon, and this one had really good reviews. Um, this one is the InSmart Wireless Portable Convenience Tooth Cleaning. He's never had one before, but we're gonna go for it. We're gonna hope for the best and see how it works. Um, and yeah, I mean. How exciting and fun but it's a useful gadget that i don't think a lot of people think of it's kind of i feel like it's like the equivalent of getting like you know the wife like a vacuum cleaner um but again he didn't ask for a lot of like fun things this year so i've tried to do more practical things but i think this is actually going to be really really helpful he's actually in horrendous pain right now because of his wisdom teeth we have to take them out in two days right before christmas it's really bad it's his birthday today it's not been the best so i'm trying to like you know hype him up and try new things that will help out with his teeth so um, I will have this linked below. It's kind of a random gift, but you know, what you're gonna do? Along that same route, um, I actually picked this up. This is the Olav Electric Trimmer. This is actually specifically designed for groin grooming. So throughout the years, he's looked into like the manscaping um, kit and all that stuff. That thing can get pretty gosh darn pricey, and I feel like a lot of the reviews can be really hit and miss for it, and so I never like have like bit the bullet and purchased. Um, but it's something that he's been like interested in looking at for many years now. And so actually I'd had a company reached out to me, another really big branded groin grooming company. I was really excited for it. I was so excited and pumped to work with them and share it with you guys. And they totally flaked and I would not recommend. I don't want to say the name because I don't want to like 
dish this them and like put them down but i was really disappointed so i specifically went out of my way <laughs> to buy things like the most passive aggressive thing i could do which is buy things from their competitors so <laughs> i found this on amazon it had really really good reviews um and i love that their their head uh, blades are replaceable it's waterproof which was another issue that i saw with a lot of the really big brand ones is a lot of them weren't waterproof they were water resistant um it's a usb charging dock and doesn't have to use batteries um and this had such good reviews specifically for growing grooming which can be kind of a dangerous area for a lot of men um and so i'm really excited i hope that he likes it um but i got him this again another practical gift that's maybe not the most exciting but i think he's really going to enjoy it and to go along with it i specifically bought for manscaped because i was passive aggressive and i was pissed at that other company so i got this one has really really good reviews though um and it's called the crop preserver and it's ball deodorant <laughs> anti-chafing ball deodorant and um it's vegan paraben free dye free and cruelty free it's made in the usa and um it it is what it is um i didn't get it because necessarily he like you know it's them like oh you smell or whatever um i actually got it because oh it's completely sealed so i can't I can't even smell it for you. Oh, the reviews are really good on this item. They think it smells really good, but it's kind of like, I guess like a liquid to powder sort of situation. So it can help any chafing issues down there, which again, he doesn't really have a big problem with. Um, but I know a lot of the reviews said that it worked really, really well for that. I got it mostly because of the kind of like the aftercare. So after this happens and stuff, a lot of times, you know, it can get like really sensitive and just like kind of inflamed i mean that's a very sensitive area and stuff so this is really good i think i read a lot of reviews that talked about um it just being like soothing because there's aloe in it and so it's just kind of soothing to put down there especially after you shave um to help reduce any of the irritation and the redness and the bumps and the itchiness so um hoping for good things like i said i got it i think i actually got this at target um but specifically bought manscaped because i was mad at that other company so Shame on you, you know? <laughs> By competitors. Not that it really makes a big difference. <laughs> anyway, so I got that. I think this is actually going to go in his stocking. But it's these kind of go together. So I just wanted to share them together. All right. Every single year, I normally get him a new watch. You guys have probably seen that last year. I think I got him two watches and a watch box <laughs> this year. Um, I went a little bit more subtle. But it's because he already has a Samsung Galaxy smartwatch. And he uses it all the time. But he only has the original band. Which is like a silicone black band. Um, and so I decided to get him two leather watch bands. They smell so good. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I got him two silicone leather <laughs> watch bands. No, what? I got him two leather watch bands. A um, black and a brown one. So he can switch them out easily depending on what he he's wearing that day. Um, but that way he can wear his watch a little bit more often. Because I know that he really, really likes his Galaxy watch. And so um, these were really highly rated on Amazon. It came in a pack of two. Um, they smell incredible. You can tell that they're authentic leather or genuine leather. They feel wonderful. Good, uh, good price. I believe I got these on Black Friday, um, and I really like them. So, if you have somebody in your life who has like an Apple Watch or a Galaxy Watch, a smart watch, and they don't, you know, have a regular watch anymore, um, but they want to have like a change it up, I think this is such a good idea and a really good stocking stuffer as well. So you can kind of give them a look of a new watch without having them have to, you know, give up their smart watch. So um, I feel like Apple bands and all that stuff, you can find so many such cute designs, both for men and for women. Um, and they're, it's such a good stocking stuffer. So I recommend these. Definitely another really good thing, I feel like for like a dad or an uncle, you know, who has like a smart watch and stuff, but you don't know what to give them. I feel like this is a good idea. Um, also, a tradition that we do every single year is that we exchange a new ring. Um, I know for some people that seems crazy, but we exchange uh, new rings and bands. We don't go crazy. We don't spend a ton of money. We're not buying like thousands of dollars of rings every single year. But it's been really fun, a really fun tradition. And we've been able to kind of see like our length of our marriage together and see all the different rings. And I don't know, it's something that's really special to me. Um, I've never been one for like diamonds and really expensive jewelry and fine jewelry. That's just never been my personality. Um, but so I, I don't mind, you know, having rings that are definitely 
definitely less expensive and are more ethical um, and supporting a lot of small shops a lot of the things that we buy are typically all from small shops so this year's I actually found this one off of Etsy and it's called the moon's forage and it is actually supposed to be kind of like a Viking ring um, and it is like this hammered black like obsidian looking ring and um i think it's really cool it definitely looks cooler in the image online i'm not gonna lie it looked cooler online but i still think that it is a really unique looking ring and it's not anything like he has um, a lot of the rings i feel like that we that i see online again and again and again are like the same things that i've already purchased it for him before or are things that are super similar and i just want something that was really unique so i found this one and i thought it was just so cool um and it's just this black like hammered like very like rustic -y looking band it just looks like a viking wedding ring i just think it is so cool so if you have someone in your life who isn't you know like the glitzy like you know silver gold uh, band wear and you want something a little unique and different i just think this is so cool so like i said this is from the moon's forage Granted, I don't think you'll probably be able to get this in time enough for Christmas, but if you have, you know, a mini anniversary coming up, Valentine's Day, if you're watching this in the year's future, I really, um, I like this a lot. I think it's beautiful. And I just want to share with you, these are actually from my brother, but um, he got really into, like, Celtic tradition and culture and, like, Viking style and, like, lore. Um, this year, he started going to... Um, like concerts one of the main like artists band is like um, they uh, created a lot of music for the Vikings TV series and so he, just something I think is really cool and he's my brother's really hard to gift for he's like everything and he just like I just anyway so I thought of this I found this it's called Vikings brand on Amazon and I found this really cool like um, Odin wolves bracelet it's like full-on I, I think this is full stainless steel or sterling silver something it's heavy like you can tell this is like authentic genuine metal it is beautiful but basically it's like the wolves of odin's um cuff and all of, all i saw with these where i thought it looked really cool was the guys had this and they had like a leather you know wrap bracelet and stuff so i actually got him one of those as well but i just thought this was so cool and unique he likes a lot of like unique things and oddities and um just unusual items and i just thought this was so cool he's been really really into like thrifting lately and just like discovering like like gems and little pieces and trinkets and so i just like saw this um on line and i was like this seems so up his alley so i got him that i'm really excited i hope he likes it i'm nervous <laughs> i hope he likes it but it even came with like a full like vikings brand um I don't know like little pamphlet all about like the culture and like how you can help and take care of it I just thought it was really really cool and then I got him this um like cuff and this one is from Mer Mertu and I'm not sure if it's going to be big enough I think I'm going to have to I may have to um exchange it for a larger size but it's just a really cool like leather corded bracelet and i just thought stacked together it would look really awesome so um we will see hopefully it fits i think it expands but i'm not positive i honestly don't even know how to open it to be totally frank and honest with you so we will figure that out <laughs> but um again another thing that had really good reviews i just have to figure out how to use it um, so i could teach him anyway that is his gift and i think i'm just gonna put it all together and wrap it and i'm excited i think that they're really cool so fingers crossed he likes them because it took me a long time to figure out what i was gonna get him this year <laughs> but i wanted to get him something unique and something he doesn't normally have so that is for my brother but i just wanted to share it because i thought it was really cool and those are things that you can get in time for christmas all right these next two gifts are kind of his main like bigger gift and it's actually in conjunction with my brother because he stole my id this year and i'm letting it go but um if you remembered last year i actually got jazz a um watch based on 007's golden eye from nintendo 64 which is one of his all-time favorite games and like i think like the treasure trove to his childhood memories it's something that was really sentimental to him and actually when he opened it last year he got really emotional which is very unlike my husband he is not a crier um and so i thought this year that i was like 
I'm gonna get him a Nintendo 64 and get him that game and we're gonna go all out. Well, if you guys don't know, <laughs> Nintendo 64 is a vintage gaming system now, um, which is weird to say because it was when, you know, I was around when I was a kid and um, you can't buy any any of them new anymore. You buy them like off Macari or eBay or, you know, like gaming stores um, and stuff like that and they can be pretty pricey. And so that was what I was getting him, but then my brother got it. And then he also got him 007 game. So I had to get other things based around that. So um, it already, the system that he got already comes with a controller, but I ended up, excuse me, but I ended up getting him an extra controller um, in case, you know, I wanna play with him or the girls wanna play with him or if he just you know, needs an extra controller. Um, this is not an authentic N64 controller um, because again, they don't make them anymore. So you have to buy them through uh, like resellers. But I found this off of Amazon and had really good reviews. So I'm hoping that it will do well. If it doesn't, we'll just buy a, um, a vintage one. But I thought this maybe be a bit better just because a lot of the ones I was looking for that were re like resold uh, used ones were kind of not in the best shape anymore. So I ended up actually getting him this one. And it's just like the traditional gray color um and it also comes i mean all of the buttons feel nice and it doesn't feel it feels just like the original controller like i this doesn't feel cheaply made or anything all the buttons feel good the joystick is nice but they do give you an extra joystick just in case um but this is one of the things i got him and so he actually will be getting that gift from my brother on christmas eve so this won't be like a random thing <laughs> he just opens and is like cool um so he will actually have already gotten the the big ultimate gift um before so this is the thing i'm most excited about and i'm not even giving him the most exciting thing that i wanted to give him but that's okay i'm gonna let my brother have the glory and i'm still really excited because i know jazz will love it so what i did also get though again and this is from a reseller um is i got him at mario kart 64 so this is something that he can play with the girls he can play with me if you've ever played mario kart if any of them um it's always been like some of the best childhood memories so i played it on super nintendo that was like my gaming system growing up because i had older brothers he played it on 64 so um i got him this off of makari um i was able to make sure it worked um before i'm gifting it to him but i'm really really excited for that gift i think that that's going to be his most treasured item that he gets this year and i can't wait i, I am so excited i hope that it's exactly what he could have wanted so it's kind of his bigger gift um because the gaming system is a bit pricier Granted, again, my brother got it. So, to be fair, that was his big reason because I didn't pay for that part. But all the other like little doodads, the cords, and all the stuff that you need do add up because it is a vintage gaming system. So, that was that. Okay, this next item is something that he, this is like the only thing that he actually asked for this year and it was like the last thing I got him and I got it like on an impulse buy. Um, but he saw this, I'd actually seen a bunch of people posting like gift guides for men and this was one of the recommendations and I was like, that seems like such a gimmick. And then next thing I know, he's like, Sarah, I saw this hat and I really want it. And I was like, you got to be joking. But the reviews are actually really good. So I have high hopes and expectations for this. If you saw a couple years ago, I got um, Jazz an LED head porch, and that was mostly kind of like a gag gift. It has been one of the single best gifts that I've ever purchased. We use it for everything. I use it, he uses it. It is so good. I highly recommend you getting that and putting it in your husband's stocking, your dad's stocking. It has come in handy for so many things. Anyway, he said that he wanted a new one um, to use because this one actually has built-in Bluetooth headphones. <laughs> so he wears it on his hat or his head and then he can listen to music at the same time because a lot of times before he would wear it while he cleaned like detailed things and so he couldn't with the head lamp and everything with his headphones, it was too much. And so now he has it all in one. So it's actually pretty bright. There's three different levels of lighting and then it's USB rechargeable and there, here's the music <laughs> sector. Um, again, this thing had like really good reviews. I'm already surprised that this is already semi-charged. It had a bunch of different colors. I don't know what to tell you about this. It's like a random one, but it, I mean, I saw this in so many different gift guides this year and then he ended up asking for it. So 
there's that. Lastly, if you guys seen many of my gift guides in the past, you will know that I buy my husband gallons of body wash because he goes through it like water. I don't know what he does. He must just use like half a bottle every time he showers. It drives me up the wall because then he starts using my body wash. Um, so I got him this big old kit from Target. It's just the Axe Polo. Honestly, at this point, he doesn't care. He doesn't care how it smells. He doesn't care if he smells like a middle-aged boy or middle-aged boy and middle schooler. He just wants body wash. So um, it comes with two full-size body washes and then this uh, his exfoliating loofah sponge, which is his favorite. And I normally always get one for a stocking as well. So the fact that this came as a pack together, it was a good deal. I will be wrapping this and putting this under the tree. Is this body wash, is it exciting? Probably not, but it is a necessity. And I love to like prank him almost because it feels like really weighty and you're gonna get like a really good gift. I've done this to him the past couple years and you're really excited about it and you open it and it's body wash. I love it, it's my favorite thing every year. But I genuinely think he'll be happy because he needs it, so. Um, you know, moving on to kind of like the stocking stuffers. I don't know how I'm gonna make everything work yet. I don't know what's going and what yet. We're gonna make it, we're gonna make do day of because at this point I really don't know. Anyway, um, David Archie actually sent these to me. Um, they were really sweet to reach out to ask if um, I, they could send me a couple products. Again, not a sponsored video, um, but every single year I get a Mondays. It is what it is, you guys know. And a lot of you guys have taken a lot of the item or uh, pairs that I've gotten the past number of years and really like your husband or spouse or whoever has really enjoyed them. So I feel like this is like a duty for me now to share some new ones with you. So when they sent these to me, they actually wanted to send me PJs, but I was like, these look great. I would much prefer these. So it comes in a pack of three. One, these colors are beautiful. But if you guys have known, <laughs> I've talked about this little, little sacks here, little sacks. He has found some that are just like this, where like they're like little hoods and they're supposed to cradle, you know, the gems, the family jewels in like a really good way. And it's supposed to keep separation, help with like smells, help with rubbish, help with, um, it's supposed to be better for your, the jewels as well to preserve some things inside said jewels. So um, I was really excited. These feel incredible, really nice quality. I think that they're gonna be great. They're, they feel very silky, like very breathable and just like luxury. So I'm excited for him to have these. Um, like I said, they come in a pack of three with just like, I think there's black, navy, and this really pretty plum color. Um, this was definitely something that took a very long time to get to me, but that's because it came from overseas. Um, but all of the ratings that I've seen on this brand have been spectacular. They sell underwear, undershirts, sleepwears, robes, socks, and thermals. And so just like very good basic necessities for men. Um, and so I would definitely recommend them. I will have everything linked below. I will also make sure if they sent me a coupon code, you can use that as well as dossier. Um, dossier is definitely recommended to shop at Walmart because you can get it sooner. These will not arrive in time for Christmas, at least if you're watching it right now. But if you're watching it, if you want to get your spouse some for Valentine's Day, some silky lovin's, this is a good idea, I'm not gonna lie. But um, I definitely would recommend, I think these are really, really nice quality. They just took like eons to get to me. Every single year I also get them some socks. Um, this year I went with Stranger Things because it's our favorite show. So um, this came with just a bunch of different themed Stranger Things socks. I don't think he has any Stranger Things socks, which is surprising because they've had they've come out with ones every single year. But I think just with this last season, it's like revitalized our obsession with it. So comes with six pairs, just cutesies. I can already see my boy Destin right here, my fave. Um, and uh, yeah, oh, here they are, all in the back, all cute. These are actually at Walmart, so you definitely can still get your hands on these. Perfect for a stocking stuffer. You can just take them out out, or roll them on up and stuff them on in. All right, these next couple of items are the last few things that I have. Um, I got him this Duke Cannon Hurricane Hold Pomade. Um, I always get him hair product as well. My main things I get him every single year are body wash, hair products, undies, and some socks. So, you know, the, the, like, the main things. Um, this smells so good. Some hair pomades he uses smell like vomit, and I can't, can't do them. But this one smells like just a, 
a sexy suave man it's the hurricane hold news anchor pomade maximum hold matte finish he likes a very good matte pomade um this had incredible reviews i got this off at ulta i think they come in a bunch of different sizes um but i'm really excited for him to try this i also think you can get this at target so ulta and target it had like i said really good reviews he likes to try new pomades it's a nice amount um fingers crossed it goes well because the one that he's been using lately i can't stand the smell i can't can't um, this is kind of like a gag gift, but it's something that he uh, He's obsessed with tweezers <laughs> Because he likes to pluck hairs on his face ears nose all of the like um, It's like it's a it's an issue. Um, his medicine makes him pull his hair We've worked through a lot of issues because a lot of it had to do with eyebrows and it, that was that got out of hand real quick So his ears and nose fair game Anyway, he takes my tweezers now because he's lost all of his. So I got him some this year that <laughs> they come with a pack of four, put them in his little cute little, little pouch so he doesn't lose them and stop taking mine. Um, but these have like four different styled heads, four different ways to pluck. We'll figure out which one he likes the best. A really random gag gift. Think it's gonna be really nice. Um, and I like the cute little pouch. It has a rainbow thread around. Like how fun is that? But it's definitely a necessity for him at this point because I'm tired of finding my tweezers with a bunch of nose hairs stuck to it. When I put those things near my eyeballs to put my eyelashes on, my falsies, it ain't happening anymore. You better not lose these. Anyway, last but not least, this last gift item is kind of a random one. But I'm excited nonetheless. Is this the last item? Yes. I... Again, he didn't ask for anything this year. There wasn't anything like new and exciting. Oh, Need for Speed. I actually got that for him for his birthday, the new Need for Speed um, Uncharted game. I think it's Uncharted. The new Need for Speed came out. He loves that franchise. And so um, he's actually really liked it. He got it for his birthday. We gave it to him early a couple days ago when we had it at dinner with my family. Highly recommend that. I don't have anything to show you because it's digital because he plays it on his PC, but he really, really liked that. So that was also another one of his gifts. Well, freaking games are pricey now. I think it was 70 bucks. Uh, like 75, I think, with tax and everything. Whew. Anyway, so because he's such a gamer and such something that does like his biggest passion, I thought that I would get him a jar of gaming snacks. <laughs> so I went and got this jar from Walmart, um, and then I got this sticker uh, decal from Etsy. Now, let me tell you, I do not recommend this one. It took forever to come to me. And then um, it would not peel off and apply like it was supposed to. The letters kept sticking. And that's why my N says Jazz is gaming snacks. But that's why my N is all weird and because I couldn't fix it. Once it was on, it was there. I could Nightmare. Definitely don't recommend this. I will not link it because it was not worth it. But if you have a, a Cricut or if you know a good place to get them, I'm sure you can find so many different ones off Etsy. Definitely recommend those more. But... I thought this was such a good idea. It's this little personalized jar because he loves snacks with his gaming. He can keep it on his desk area, in his gaming area. And then I just filled it with a bunch of goodies. I'm still not even done. We have peanut M&Ms, trolleys, Reese's trees, uh, Gushers, Kit Kats. And I wanna get something like a salty snack. I just haven't filled it in there. I also got him some hot bean dip, <laughs> which is not something that he can keep in there and just keep reopening. But he loves some Fritos bean dip. Um, but I love this idea. I feel like this is such a good idea for like the teen boys in your life, the gamers in your life. It's cute. It's repersonalized or it's personalized and you can just refill it with goodies every year. So this is actually where all of his treats and snacks are going to go and it's going to sit next to his stocking. Um, and instead of filling his stocking with treats and candy, he now has his gaming snacks. So I'm really excited. I think this turned out so adorable. Um, I highly would recommend it. It's just not that particular seller. That was not a good idea. But um this is one of my favorite gifts I'm most excited about. It was probably the cheapest thing I got, but I think it's so cute. <laughs> all right, friends, that is it. This video is all over the place, I think. I'm sorry. It's late. It's almost Christmas. I am ready. I'm done. I want everything wrapped. I want another tree. We have two presents under the tree this year, and they're both for my mother-in-law. There's nothing else under there yet. This is never this late in the game for us, but life is what it is this year. So I hope you guys have a wonderful and merry Christmas. I will see you 
in the new year um and i thank you for watching my gift guide series throughout this year thank you so much for all your support and the, those of you who joined us recently i hope to keep you guys here for the long haul um thank you so much for watching definitely check out the last videos i have of my what i got my kids for christmas video and their stocking stuffer ideas um, and don't forget to keep a lookout for many videos to come. Um, thank you so much for watching this one. And thank you, Dossier and um, David Archie for sending me some goodies to give to my, hu 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 my <laughs> husband. Um, and like I said, I will have everything linked below, any coupon codes that I can find. Um, so you guys can do some quick shopping links. Most of these items I think will be able to shop locally or find um, or ship uh, from Amazon within enough time for Christmas. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, and a happy holidays. Bye guys.